Thank you so much for joining us for another Roku Developers tutorial. I'm Nicole, Developer Advocate at Roku, and in this tutorial we'll cover getting started with Roku app development and sideloading a demo app using our Hello World code sample. First, let's review what we'll cover in this tutorial. We'll cover the requirements needed for the tutorial, the steps for activating developer mode on your Roku device, and sideloading the Hello World code sample from our Roku Developers GitHub. Let's dig into the requirements that you'll need to be able to follow along with this tutorial and be successful. You'll need a Roku customer account that has been enrolled in our Roku Developers program, which is an additional account registration and a non-technical step that you can complete before starting this tutorial. You'll also need a Roku device that has developer mode activated, which we'll walk through setting up in this video, and a web browser such as Google Chrome. Lastly, you'll need the Hello World code sample that we have hosted on our Roku Developers GitHub repository. So let's get started. First, let's walk through activating developer mode on your Roku device. To activate developer mode, input the key sequence on the Roku remote that is paired with your device home, 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 up, up, right, left, right, left, right. You'll then see the developer settings screen and information about our developer application installer. On the developer settings screen, make note of the IP address of the Roku device and write down the password you create for the Roku dev account. You'll also electronically sign the SDK agreement the first time you activate developer mode, which will enable sideloading channel packages on your device. So let's walk through these steps on a Roku device. We'll input the key press sequence shown on the screen. Here you can see the developer settings screen with the device IP address and the Roku dev username. The first time you activate developer mode, it will prompt you to create a password. When you enable developer mode for the first time, you'll need to agree to the developer tools license agreement. Otherwise, you'll be prompted to enable the installer and restart your Roku device. Next, we're going to download the Hello World code sample and sideload the sample package. First, we'll download the .zip of the code sample from GitHub. Then we'll find the .zip on our local computer in the downloads directory. We'll unzip the file, select the source folder, create a new .zip, and then we're ready to sideload our sample. Starting from the beginning, using the green code button in the GitHub repository, you can select download zip from the drop-down menu. In the folder directory where the hello world code sample downloaded, I'm going to right click, then select a program to open the .zip with to reveal the contents. Next, I'm going to select all the files and folders within the source folder and compress the selection. The manifest file must be in the root directory. The new .zip created is named archive.zip by default on a Mac, and this is the package that we will sideload to our Roku device. Now we're ready to sideload the sample we just created. We'll use the development application installer to sideload the sample. We'll use our web browser, and this example I'm using Chrome, to access our Roku device by putting in the IP address of the device, then the username Roku Dev and the password we set up the first time we enabled developer mode. We're going to click the upload button in the developer application installer and then upload the archive.zip that we created in the previous step. We'll see a green success message at the bottom of our browser page to indicate the package has installed successfully. Almost instantly, your sideloaded sample will launch on your Roku device. This concludes this getting started video, and if you've been following along during the tutorial, Congratulations on successfully sideloading your first code sample on a Roku device. We'll be releasing more tutorials like this in the future, so stay tuned for updates on our new releases.